evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for waiting. Uh, this is Crisis, and we're back on GameStar TV One with another match from round three of the Hey Pal Weekly. So what's happened is there was a disconnection and then a re-disconnection during the Avant versus Forefront game. So we're going to be bringing you an extra match from round number three, Avant going up against Forefront. And to take you through the match, we've got EJ back with you. Take it away, EJ. All right. Thank you, Crisis. And uh, shout out to everyone having a listen in here tonight for the Hey Pal Paladin Summer Series uh, 17 round three action match. As Crisis said, this match is still a round three match. So we thought, well, do we give you dead air for 40 minutes or do we get in and do another match? And Myth was up for it. So I'm up for it. And uh, Myth, Avant versus Forefront. Sounds like it's going to be a good one. Yeah, well, as as close with the disconnection. So, I mean... I'm hoping for another close one like the last match. Uh, Avant and Forefront, fairly even teams. Forefront being new, they might have a little bit less communication skill and whatnot, but yeah, it should be pretty close. All right, so we are waiting just for the lobby to get up. Um, if you're there, Agra, feel free to tell them to start. We're all ready to go. Everyone uh, is still in here. <laughs> Shout out to VPI or VP, by the way. Um, dude, can I transfer crystals in game? If I could, I would. But um, I'm, I'm, I'll see what Choose I can see what I can hook you up with later for uh, the epic fail calls in the last match. However, this one we'll try not to get a uh, epic fail calls. Gee, they've been super quick on their picks because they're obviously uh, predetermined from their previous match. Uh, Myth and Lionberg, Rice, Kunt, Soch, and Core Land out for Avant Guard and for Forefront. Hato, oh Hato, are you? I love Hato. He's a great player. Uh, yes, one, two, three. Uh, Paragon, Failtron, or oh, no, Flairtron. I called him Failtron last week. That's not his real name. Flairtron, and of course Kakachu. Now Kakachu is going to cast with us tonight, but more important that he played and uh, give Myth a go at uh, casting. Now Crisis, we have had a lot of requests for some Flairtron uh, action tonight. So if you're uh, up for specking anyone to start the match off, the Andronicus being played by. Flareton, Flareton. I have no idea how to say this poor buck's yes, name. Yes, Flareton. Flareton. Well, yeah. he wants to be spec. He probably actually doesn't want to be spec, but I know um, Barbie and Matt C are really waiting for him to be spec. Now, uh, we are into the game here. We'll get the loadouts going very soon, and I'll uh, shimmy my dude around into position. You are very happy, ladies and gentlemen, that I am not on camera, or you'd be getting a very eyeball close-up view of the ground floor of the map, which is you know, a pretty good place to spectate from, but probably not what you're really into i'm just not having much luck tonight i've just crashed again oh it's the curse it. dude it's the curse of the co-caster for the palette for the hey paladin series um but we haven't started so you got a chance to uh get back in which will be uh, pretty good now raffle is still open so we've given away one skin tonight so brad b uh picked himself up a skin earlier did he let us know who he won a crisis did he actually nominate uh he's contacted me in discord but i've been busy running the production yeah so, so well we still have others him, that's uh, all good we still have others up. uh yeah we still have others waiting uh in the ring so 76 people watching at the moment thank you for joining into oceanic uh paladins action and uh let's hope we're on the front page of twitch uh, which will be pretty damn good as well 25 seconds on the map on the clock i should say and we'll get this one underway conditions on the map they appear frosty. Bit of a chill in the air. Just a little bit of a chill in the air. So it's Forefront's on the red team. And they've got the old single tank going on. Five, Same sort of story four, though for three, the boys from Avant Guard. So one, one tank each. Not favoring that double begun. tank meta that Abyss Esports seems to favor. DJ? No, it's uh, it's a different thing, and it's good to see, and we are underway, and the action is taking place. Just look at my virus checker pops up and blocks up half my screen. Thank you very much, uh, Mac P. Here we go. So they're fighting off the point at the moment. No one's onto it, and it is going to be a yes. One, two, three is first on, and to try and get this, Flairtron is with him, just uh, hanging around, and it is Soch with the uh, first kill of the match. Paragon had no response to the uh, Soch Makoa. And uh, thank you to everyone who's um, letting me know how to uh, say this uh, poor bugger's name. Much appreciated. And it's now going in the favour of, of course, Avant Guard. Sochi sitting on the point. Just decided he'd hop off the point. Ying comes swinging around to the side of the point. Troon backs onto the point. Everyone's backing onto the point. It's a backdoor party first on the point, ladies and gentlemen. 
And just as I say that, Sotch and uh, crew, yeah, both get there at the same time. So nothing uh, inferred, nothing gained, nothing ventured. And Tron goes down. Who was that? Flare Tron. Unfortunately, Rice was too powerful on the EV. Flanker on flank action. And the cap is well and truly in the favor of the avant-garde boys now. They are up to 84%. And Forefront sitting back from the point. Not able to retake this one. There we go. Objective captured. And a payload rolling. Now, the first match we saw when the guys were um, uh, in this match is a very quick roll phase. So they got this phase very efficiently done, did avant-garde. The car didn't stop at all. They rolled it in uh, into thing. That was against Surge. But I do think our Forefront are probably going to put up a little bit more defense than that. At the moment, though, it is a half forward pushed uh, Markoa. That is Scotch holding them back here at the bridge. They've set up on the bridge. And it's going to be a very solid defense here. They're coming forward to the overpass now. And it is Kakacho on the Fernando. Just taking the uh, point guard as he does. Gets them through. Fletchon's getting shot in the back here. He better turn around. Didn't turn around in time. And yes, one, two, three picks one up. Core land with a beautiful double before getting taken out again by yes, one, two, three. And Cart safely in the possession now. It would appear of uh, Avant Garde. And Avant Garde are pushing through. Who thought? Is Forefront on the blue? No, sorry. sorry. I thought they would retake it. But no, they tried to retake it, but they had a bit of a day after their trial. A uh, moment and weren't able to do it. Here we go, though. The uh, point here, the car, I should say, is about halfway between the two overpasses now. A lovely Scotch uh, scoochy hook there. Pops his uh, shield up. Yes, one, two, three, just dropping back here. Doesn't want to engage. Pops up now, though. Nice wearing a Who fancy that? Bryce is wearing a suit to a uh, slaughter fest. You've got to give the guy that. He's all class, uh, yes, one, two, three. Yeah, he's got the old James Bond guy. All right, so we've had some uh, requests for some Andronicus specking, so we'll try and get you some Andronicus specking uh, in the next one here. It is a 1-0, 45 seconds left on the clock. Avant-garde pushing the cart. It did get stopped, though, and uh, that is, of course, Kakachu on his Fernando doing a great job at the front here. Oh, who is that? Harato tries to meldumber someone and get dumbed himself. Back of the cart, drop card. But they have the uh, cart successfully uh, in their possession at the moment. So nice work here, holding this cart up and uh, stopping a Lionberg and the boys from getting the push on. 15 seconds left on the clock and we could be seeing a forefront uh, hold here. Now, Myth, whereabouts are you as far as uh, rejoining? Uh, what, time are you, what time are you at? I think I'm almost I have one second. And overtime, doot, doot. the overtime train has departed the station, ladies and gentlemen. There are axes flying past my eyeballs right at the moment. Crude's got it, and this is a late charge here, and they're going to roll it in with absolutely no time on the clock. And uh, it's the myth magic. He uh, came back in just in time just for Lionberg yeah. to get the final kill and uh, push this one on to the point. And what I find interesting, and just seeing right at the very end there, is that there's five ults still up on Forefront. So they didn't use any, maybe, to slow down that push. Maybe no. they... And a uh, quick shout out to Inso from the old ET days having a tune in tonight. Yeah, you'll hear Crisis' voice as well. So um, uh, he remembers the old ET days. What was that clan you used to play for, those Kiwi dudes, Crisis? Anyway, they weren't very good, it doesn't matter. Flying and uh, <laughs> that's the guys. <laughs> oh, they were better than me, but that's, a, that's the way it rolls. Two seconds to go here. We're going to get this underway. And uh, this is round three action. So because of some crashes we had, uh, in this match, we are replaying it, and we are seeing Avant-Garde taking on Forefront. And the engagement is currently 2-0 in favour of Avant-Garde. So uh, we've had some requests for interviews after this. If anyone wants to see if uh, Lionberg or Flairton would like to come on post-match, they are more than welcome to. Although I'm going to can that because we are running behind in schedule, and we'll move on straight into round four action once this result is entered. Scott's picking up a double kill there, and that helps his team try to push the uh, boys off the point. And they have done so, 12% now for Avant-Garde. And they got the third player, that is Lionberg with Knessa just hanging around to help this recap. 33% on this first point. And two ultimates up in their favor against the full house. Five ultimates up for the boys from uh, Forefront. And he wins. I don't know if you were playing, what would you be saving these for, uh, Mick? I'm not too sure what they're, what they're not doing right now because... Uh... You should be using these ults to try and capture this point. And, uh... Absolutely. 
and the prophecy might have come true. They popped two of them, and it might be enough, and it hasn't been enough, actually, Myth. They got in here, they popped them. There goes another one, though, so uh, Victor's letting rip. It might be enough. What a play, in fact. And uh, it is Conland comes in, can't do anything about it. And you called it, and they did it, man. There we go. What a great retake. So finally, they've popped their cherry on the ults for this game, and they've, they've made a bit of a play, and it's worked out for them. Now they just got to stop them from getting back to the point. So they're doing well at that. Man, yeah, 93, 97, they're going to get it. They have. They've captured the objective to start this one off. So we get to see some defense. We have not seen any defense so far this uh, game from Avant Garde. It's been offense, offense, offense. So now we get to see what they can do, whether we can get a defensive uh, success here against this forward push now coming in by the boys from Avant Garde. We have Scotch just hanging around at the uh, objective. Lionberg trying to line up some Knesset shots at the back. And just as I say it, Paragon gets one right in the face. And uh, he thought he'll just have a lay down now and uh, go call for a band-aid. Scotchy uh, still in the battle here. Nice hook goes out onto Faltron. The Faltron flat on. Oh, and the poor guy. I'm going to call him Faltron all night now. Poor bugger. He can deal with it, though. He might even change his name if he's lucky. I'm sure Inso was once called Legend or something, and, uh, God, he got stuffed up on a cast and changed his name back in the ET days. So it does happen. Cart's rolling right back, though, onto the point here. So all that great work has uh, not come to anything at the moment for the boys from Forefront. But as I say that, cast is cursed, and they retake it and manage to push the cart forward a little bit. Another great hook there by uh, Soch. He has indeed having a GG game. The shield by uh, Cockatoo saves him there. I hope he uh, it is Cockatoo. How do you say his name? Myth is a Cockatoo? I'd say Cockatoo. 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 Yeah, we'll Kaka that. Cockatoo. Cockatoo. Mm, could do with some chow. Cockatoo, though, picks up a kill. And uh, that was on core land. That's the one you want to pick up as well. Uh, unfortunately, though, Soch comes through and nails him in the head and uh, drops him down there. So we are seeing this avant-garde defense for the first time in it so far. Very solid. We haven't got the payload even to the first overpass, um, which is... they got 36 seconds, so they're not out of it quite yet. They've only got one alt up. That's Mel Dumba. Um, so that's not going to do them a lot of good here. They've engaged in front of the cart. It might work for them. They picked up one kill. Two, though, going in return with uh, Fletron and Haroto. AU dropping out of this one, both to the Rice Master. Now, we haven't uh, actually said, but Rice picked up the MVP in our first match of the night. And if he picks picking up double kills like that, he's going to go cruising for a second one, for a second nomination here. Three seconds on the clock. Two seconds, one second. Success. No, it is into overtime. Harato trying his best to stop it, but uh, Scotch pulled a GG. Oh, Paragon zips in to save the cart. Can he save it? No, he can't. The overtime's rapidly running away now, and Scotch is going to make sure it's a defender successfully uh, for Team Blue. And Avant Garde take it to 3 1. So they picked up one round off them so far, Myth. But boy, oh boy, it's going to come down to this uh, point for this one. There is, and again, they have. Pretty much five volts, so this time I'd like to see them really get in the face and try to exploit that. But uh, they do have three on the other side as well, so we'll see how they go, how they approach this round, whether they change things up and maybe all go one way or whether they split up. But, uh, and any um, players standing out for you so far? Anyone you think's having a good round? Uh, Rice is doing really well again, and so is Soch. Both of them are, I feel like, are standing out for their team right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting a sword back, it's called, from carrying. But, you know, they're, they're doing well. Round uh, underway here. It's all about capturing this first point and no time waste. Uh, Scotch goes straight through it. No one from the other team was on the point after after that time. Uh, same side, four front. We're able to get there. And uh, there goes the first, second, third ultimates have been popped off. I don't know if it's going to be enough for them. Rice picks up the uh, Harato kill. And Soch is in here on to uh, Kakachow. He gets his shield up. It might be enough for him. They're chasing down. Yes, one, two, three onto the point. And they get him. And this could be an all dropped in. But the reinforcements have come in. It's two DPS, though. Can they hold it off against the tanks here? They're going to have to hold it off against the tanks. Mel Dumbers come in to join them. Horoto AU is on the point. And this is a great job. It's up to 27%. 
And the boys from Avant Garde regroup though. They just waited for their support. They've now taken the point. 9, 12 percent has been taken. It's not enough to get them there. And if they can take out, yes, one, two, three, that might be the one kill they needed. And we've got uh, Rice with an ultimate up his sleeve if he needs it here. Kroon's just going to sit on the point, and I think that's probably going to be it, Myth. They're going to get one last chance to try and take this point. Yeah, they're going to try and touch it right at the end here, but it's being staggered right now with the kills. They, they've got to wait for their team to all be up, and it's already hitting 80%. They don't have long. They don't have long at all, 96%. They're trying to get on, but a team victory and avant-garde pick up their second win of the night. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a short break here uh, from the Hey Pal Paladins competition. And just to let everyone listening know, we are looking for shoutcasters for Paladins. So uh, if you want to come and join the GameStar team and get in and do some Paladins casting, give us a, uh, a send us a message and uh, we'll see what we can do. All right, uh, we're going to take a break here. Uh, MVP, though, should do an MVP, I suppose. Uh, Myth, who do you think stood out in that particular game? Well, Lineberg, Lineberg did a lot of work on the Canessa at the back line. If you look at her damage, she's sitting at 67. Yeah, thousands. yeah. A uh, bit of a problem she was causing for uh, Forefront because they couldn't really get to her. So I'd, I'd say Lineberg did a lot of work that game. Yep. Lineberg, you pick yourself up an MVP nomination. We'll be back very shortly. Round four action coming up after this short break.